Here we go. Hi, this is David again. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the effects of degradation. Last video was more about um, what we can do and how to treat the battery and uh, making sure that the degradation is, um, you know, as little as possible. Um, but um, I want to talk about or make this little video about um, what the effects are. How much does it affect you when your battery degrades over time and over use? Um, you know, at first I thought, you know, it's not even worth making a video because, um, well, what are the effects of degradation? You lose capacity, which means the energy that the battery can hold is kind of less than when it was new, and that just uh, results in less range. So basically, when the battery degrades, you have less range. Um, and that's kind of a common thing, common knowledge, and I think everybody kind of knows that. But, you know, making that other video and the discussion that I mentioned about um, how the um, supercharging affects degradation made me think especially the email that um, Tesla sent out to that uh, person that found out about it and, um, and asked Tesla what it, what it is about and everything and they replied by saying that you know over time and over use um, the chemistry the uh, battery basically changes and they have to adjust the charge rate of the supercharger in in, in, in certain uh, ways and actually it means that it is a little bit slower um, the the charge rate is actually clipped at about a little over 90 kilowatt hours uh, sorry a little over kilo 90 kilowatt um, now that was a 90 battery um, I have an older 85 I didn't notice this uh, drop or this cutoff at a certain uh, charge rate when I plug in I still get about the same charge rate that um, I used to get when the car was new but I noticed that over time and that's something that happened very gradually that um, the time it takes to charge uh, at a supercharger is a little bit longer um, and it's hard to figure that out because when you plug in the charge rate initially is the same as it was when it was new but then it seems to just taper off a little different uh, mostly faster <clears throat> so what I did I was digging through some old um, data that I had when when the car was new supercharging um, data and then uh, compared that with something with supercharging data that I have from right now um, from the recent weeks and I made sure that I was able to compare like very similar conditions in terms of temperature. Nobody else was at a supercharger, so it wasn't uh, any any other factors um, weren't like affecting the charge rate. And what I found out was actually kind of shocking um, because um, I'm going to show you here in this graph that I made. Um, if you look at this, there's two curves. Uh, one when a car was new. And the other one um, is the car as it is right now. In my case, it's 133,000 miles in about um, almost four years now. Um, and you can see it's significantly slower. Um, it, both charging session, sessions started around 16%, uh, I believe, 15 or 16% battery level. And I charged all the way to 92%. So um, what you can see here, it's significantly slower. And so I thought, okay, what does that actually mean? Uh, what is the real world effect of that? Um, and I measured <clears throat> the time it takes. Um, oh, let me start this way. Um, on average, when you go on a road trip and you charge at a supercharger to go to the next one and so on, you need on average about 40 kilowatt hours of, of energy to make it to the next one. Again, it's an average, sometimes it's a little longer. Sometimes superchargers are spaced out a little um, less and you need to charge less, but that's kind of a good average um, based on my experience. And so how much time does it take to charge those 40 kilowatt hours? Um, when the car was new is about 27 minutes. And now in my current state with this car, much older, it takes about 34, 35 minutes roughly. Um, so that is actually quite a significant difference. So there's about seven, maybe eight minutes of uh, time difference at each supercharger. So um, it's not overall, it's at every station, I need to charge about seven or eight minutes longer than, than I used to be able to do that when the car was new. Um, that's a quite a big difference for me because I take a lot of road trips, about 60% of the miles that I drive on this car are actually road trips. So um, that actually makes a big difference to me. The other effect of, of degradation, the loss of range, actually doesn't affect me at all. And I think in most cases, <clears throat> for most people, it, I don't think it makes a big difference. I have a, I had 100 and, no, sorry, 270 miles when the car was new. Now I have 200 and, 
47 miles I think when the car is fully charged um, so I lost a few uh, miles in range but I, I even even if I on a busy day maybe I drive 150 miles so it doesn't affect me at all one other thing I want to mention that uh, has to do with supercharging in a in a slower charge rate um, what I've experienced and many others have experienced as well sometimes you plug into a supercharger you see the charge rate uh, perfectly uh, fine and then after a few minutes you see a drop to about around 60 kilowatt um, and again like a lot of people have experienced that and seen that including me and that seems to have nothing to do with degradation it's happening to new cars as the same as it happens to older cars it seems to happen pretty randomly there is no really uh, certain condition that seem to trigger that or not um, I have I have access to the canvas of the car do a little app and I haven't been able to make any correlation with any temperature or other data that comes from the car that seems to be triggering that I think the best theory right now is that um, the charge handles at a supercharging station they were replaced um, over the last I think one and a half years by Tesla and they seem to be having some kinds of issues with getting too hot um, and then there's a temperature sensor in it and that uh, makes the supercharger to uh, reduce the charge rate to prevent it from overheating. Obviously that's a flaw, that's a design flaw and Tesla is trying to fix that. Again that information comes from someone who says he got it from a birdie, so basically a source that he doesn't want to reveal. Uh, we don't know if that is um, true or not, um, but basically that's the best three. Again I just want to mention it because um, that's happening but it seems to have nothing to do with degradation. It happens to old cars and new cars in the same way. Um, so I guess the uh, handle theory, overheating handle theory, seems to be the best one to explain that. Um, I just wanted to put that information out. Um, and um, yes, I'm still working on my big um, 100,000 mile review, which uh, didn't happen because right now I already have 133,000 miles. <laughs> um, but I'm working on it and I hope I'll have it done soon. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.